What's up, everyone? Oh, great. Um, thought I'd make a quick video. Just got back from the post office. Um, these were recent pickups that I got. Uh, first one was Barreto's Ood Immortal, or Immortal, I think it's Immortal. Um, got a really good deal on that one, so I snagged it. I had never smelled it before, but it's really nice, classic. Um, Kind of reminds me of like just a classic men's fragrance from the 90s or the 80s, something like that. Just smells really good. Got that nice limoncello note there. Um, so I got a really good deal on this one and oops, don't smell that George. And the guy was nice enough to include two samples because he was gonna ship a day late, which is no problem. But he gave me a list of samples and I ended up choosing two from his list, which I was really excited because um, uh, this was on there. So he, he had a silly night clubbing on there and I had really wanted to try this. So um, he was kind enough to include this sample for free along with another one that I've been interested in, which was Louis Vuitton's Meat de Feu. Um, both really great. Um, I've only tried this one once, but I really liked it. It's kind of really dry um, tobacco incense type. Um, reminds me of Diptyque's um, Eau Duel, which is really great. Um, so I need to wear this a little bit more. I'm actually wearing this one right now on my left wrist. Um, night clubbing. I've worn it a couple times now. Not out and about, but just kind of to bed, you know. Um, really great. Uh, vanilla kind of smells like a little bit of cigarette cigarette buds something like that really dry and nice I'm still not sure about performance on this guy but um, I like it a lot um, I'm sure it's it's a little different coming out of the of a bottles atomizer versus a small little sample so not really sure on proje projection on that one. But going back to this, uh, Oud Immortal. This is a 50 mil. Um, this is a partial, but still got a pretty good amount. I've worn it about three times now. Really enjoying it. Um, not really sure where the Oud is in this one, but it's in the ba it's in the backbone, I think. The base, but... Uh, Really good stuff, um, not harsh at all, I don't think, but um, whenever I buy fragrances, I buy, or whenever I jump into a new brand, I mean, this isn't the first Byredo I've had, I, I had Balde Afrique for a little bit, um, maybe like about two months, maybe like two years ago, and then ended up selling it for whatever reason. Um, it's a great fragrance, but it just I just wasn't getting use out of it. So um, decided to jump back into the house. Um, so far, I've got these two. So Oud Mortal and, and Mink. Um, saw a fragrance journey talking about this one in one of his recent videos. And I was like, I need to try that out because I had never heard about it. But um, it's, uh, it's a really interesting scent. Um, not as skanky as everyone was saying in the reviews on Fragrantica and and whatnot and on YouTube. Um, really ple pleasant. I've only worn it out once. Um, did not get a complaint, so that's a win. Um, just really smells like ink and chemicals. Um, haven't really dived into it deeper than that, but that's kind of what I get. Um, performance is great. I'll try it out this week. So it's the older formulation, I think, as well. Um, it's got the old logo with Barreto Parfums on there compared to, to this one. And going back to this, uh, whenever I, I buy, go into a new house, I buy two at a time. I don't know why, but... Everything's better in twos. Takes two to tangle, right? Hey, Dutch. Is that right? He's not paying attention right now. 
Um, but I kind of did a similar thing um, two years ago with um, Nishane. I ended up buying three bottles at one time for my birthday. And it was a beautiful bottle. It was one of my favorite bottles in the industry. They're really classy and heavy and, and good looking. So bought three of those, but then ended up selling them all three. Two months later, um, they just kind of were too too synthetic for my taste. Um, I had got Ani, which I enjoyed a lot the first couple wears, but then after that, I kind of got tired of it and I just couldn't stand the ginger note anymore and got rid of that. Shortly after that, I got rid of um, African Oliphant, which again, I loved the first time I wore it. Um, and then I wore it on a really, really hot day and it gave me a headache and I, I just wanted to throw up. So, um, I think that same day or the next day I posted a picture up for sale and, uh, got rid of it. And then I was left with, uh, Nishane's B612, which is a really good, like barbershop fragrance, I would say. Um, it's a little on the synthetic side, but it's really classy and, and nice, but at that time I had just got uh, Beau, de Jour, Beau de Jour, and so I was wearing that a lot, and that's like way better uh, for me. Um, I like that one a lot, and then uh, around the same time I was going through another phase, and I got Burning Barbershop, which was another great barbershop fragrance. Um, so I ended up selling all those three, but uh, long story short, uh, hopefully I get to enjoy these more than I did uh, a couple years ago. And then um, I'm really interested in their new fragrance. I think it's called De Los Santos, which is getting really good reviews. So I need to pop by Nordstrom and check that out. Maybe I'll pick it up, still not sure yet. Um, but uh, I think I really enjoyed their Mumbai Noise or something like that. Uh, really like that one the last time I smelled it so I need to go back and, and check that out again um but I came back from the post office not because I got these I got these about two weeks ago or, or a week and a half ago but I came back from the post office dropping off some decants so the reason these fragrances are back here is because I posted about eight of my bottles up for sale I was like you know what let me get rid of some juice that I have. I'm not definitely not going to wear all these, um, especially like a lot of other my fragrances. Uh, it's kind of hard to wear everything. And this big boy over here is 250 mil. I'm never going to go through that. So I was like, you know what? Let me let me order some decants, some nice decants. And we'll ship some out to some people. So I... Uh, I put eight bottles for sale, so three of them are on here. Uh, I got Gucci's Midnight Stroll, uh, Diptyque's Kyoto, which I'm probably going to stop selling. I already sold two of those decants. And then uh, Leather Oud. So Leather Oud sold two. I think I sold two of that one already. And then I sold one a Midnight Stroll. Um, but I was like, you know what, let me get a nice decant. Um, so this is like a little nice twist top. Um, really, really classy. It is, is a oil magnet, as you can see here, but um, really good looking bottle. These are eight mil size. Um, still got a couple of these left, but I was like, went, went to the post office, did all the stuff, and I was like, oh, it's not that bad. So, and it's not like I was selling for a profit either. I was just kind of selling it for the people so they can experience these fragrances because I'm definitely not going to finish. Any, any of these you know so that's just a quick update on everything um really enjoying this celine's night clubbing um still really want to try reptile soon and then um nuit diffa which i also want to try a couple of their other fragrances and i know they have two coming out march 31st i think in the states so i believe they're already out so um, there's a Gucci store in my in my town, so I'm gonna go pop in there maybe Thursday or maybe later today. Um, 
And then another fragrance that I'm really interested in, I don't know if anyone's looked into it, but it's YSL's Baby Cat. And I was drawn in by the name, you know, I have cats and it's a pretty nice name, Baby Cat, but it refers to their print on their fabrics. But anyway, uh, notes drew me in and I had been looking into it for like the past three weeks ever since they posted it online, but um, it was only available in Dubai. I believe it's still only available in Dubai on their website. But um, the perfumer was just released and it is Dominique Ropion. Um, so now I'm 100% sold in. I'm definitely gonna pick that up whenever it drops. It'll be my first YSL, um, whatever collection that's called. Um, hopefully the performance is great on that one and hopefully the reviews are good, but um, Domini Robion's behind it, so it should be something worth checking out for sure. Um, probably end up decanting that one too, just to you know cut the cost a little bit um, into these little guys. But other than that, uh, thanks for checking in and I will talk to you guys on the next one and maybe I'll do a proper review on these or um, even uh, this guy, which I've been enjoying a lot. Um, definitely been wearing this one a lot and I find it performs really well in hot weather, um, warm weather too. And just that incense in there is really great. So, um, this is another incense one actually, but really good spicy rose. Um, uh, with some Turkish rose and vetiver and uh, what else? Incense. So, and the beetroot. Um, nice color red here. Um, smells a little vegetal with the beetroot in there. So, a really interesting fragrance. Um, only a couple bottles made, limited edition. So, I need to maybe sell one more decan of this and then keep the rest for myself. But, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.